We're here in Middletown, Pennsylvania this morning. We're going to do aerial photos, but not with a plane. We're going to use a drone as soon as this truck goes by. Got my friend Dan, Dan Howard here with me this morning. He's a certified uh, drone pilot, and uh, even though I fly drones myself, I'm not certified, so I brought Dan, Dan, Dan in to help me. And uh, what do you think? Yeah, it's a good day for it. Uh, clear skies, no wind. Well, it'll be a good shoot. We tried to do this yesterday, but it was uh, pretty windy, 30, 40 mile an hour gust, and uh, so we postponed it till this morning. So we got a good day here, so let's get busy. And then we'll, I'm thinking we'll walk down there again, like we did the last time. All right, half mile to, Almost a mile, I'd say. Almost a mile from the Harrisburg International Airport. We're not sure if it's a B or C classification, but we've been given clearance to fly up to 100 feet, no more. Mm -hmm. Typically, we can go to 400 feet with a drone, but uh, because of the proximity to the airport, we've got to keep it low. Show me back. I'll show it to you once I put it on, too. Classy. <laughs> FAA licensed commercial drone pilot. Please do not disturb. Well, I'd say the hardest part about flying a drone commercially is getting all the authorizations. Um, so you got to get FAA approved, obviously. And the DJI app. The DJI is good. Um, They're the manufacturers of the drone. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you use their app, you need to get uh, authorization from them because they have their own geofence, is what they call it, around airports, for example. And uh, you just go on their website and you fill out information. Uh, it's simple, it's just, uh, it takes time. Okay, what we typically do with these aerial shots, we do the uh, four corner sh shooting process where we'll uh, take a building. A building is what we're shooting this morning, this warehouse right over here. And uh, we've been shooting a progressive shoot as the construction progresses. We come up by here monthly and show the uh, progression of the construction project. So we typically shoot the four corners. So that's what we're going to start doing now. We're going to walk over closer to the warehouse. We uh, want to be able to keep an eye on the drone as we're flying. It's part of the regulations of the FAA. You've got to have eyes on it at all times. And uh, if we don't walk over, we won't be able to see it as it goes behind this building. drone is right over the second building right there. Our target building is this one right here. It goes right up against that, that, that was a pre-existing building right there to the left where the, uh, the gantry is. I don't know if the drone can see it or not, but we're flying right here. Nice uh, dark blue sky, so this should pick up pretty good. Now the drone is all the way at the far end of the corner of the building and uh, shooting sort of back at a 45 degree angle of us right now. Now the drone is all the way at the far end of the other corner down here, way down there.
about it for our drone shots here this morning. Uh, shot all four corners, stayed under 100 feet as the FAA asked us to, so uh, that's good for another month, and we'll come out here and do it again once uh, it gets to the next phase. So thank you, Dan. You're welcome. As before, if you like our videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next video. I almost forgot to mention that uh, our warehouse site that we're shooting these aerials is within just a few miles of this. Three mile and For those of you not from this area, the towers on the right here are operational with the smoke coming out. It's not smoke, actually, it's steam. And the towers on the right and the left are those that were damaged during the three mile accident. Uh, I forget what year it is, uh, 15, 20 years ago. So that's what we got here. Here's a historical marker that uh, Tells me the years, March 28, 1979.